2019 is officially here. And I'm asking the question, has society really changed? I know that everyone has their own views, opinions and beliefs on the subject. However, it could become a very controversial one, depending upon where we wish to take it. So stick around to find out where I'll be breaking all of those boundaries on this subject. Coming up. Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Tim here again with another How To With Basics, bringing you this style, not my typical video. I guess some would call it, I think a blog, or in my case, I'm just going to call it a chat, or maybe a little rant. That way, you'll get to know me a little bit better on who I am, my thoughts, feelings, and some of my frustrations. So for future reference, this video will be found in my op-ed folder within my channel. Now, firstly, I must apologize for not uploading videos as frequently as I was. I blame that on Christmas or the festive season, or happy holidays, whatever you want to call it. I did take a slightly longer break than I should have. Anyway, we've just turned the page or finish one chapter or book of our lives. And now, start it afresh with a new one called 2019. Personally, I had a lovely, very relaxing, chilled out break, with exceptional to my usual daily cooking and house chores that of course has to be done anyway. Over the holidays and having that little bit of extra time on my hands, with the lead up to New Year, I started to reassess, soul search and look back on past years and seeing what is really going on in the world today, which led me to ask the question, has society really changed? Firstly, I wish to state that due to the subject matter, I couldn't squeeze it into a single video due to its total overall length. Hence, I decided to break it up into three mini-part series. I first thought that it was going to be easy, but the more I got into my draft script, I then discovered a lot of past pain, emotions and hurt that suddenly started rushing back. So allow me to forewarn you that I may get a little heated in some parts of this video. Now, None of what I'm about to say is meant to hurt or offend anyone of colour, race or religion. So please, I ask you, take it from where it comes and I ask you to overlook some things. Or at times, my choice of words and consider the overall message in it before lambasting me with thousands of negative comments. Okay, so... In my opinion and assessment, of which I gladly welcome you to air your views and opinions in the comment section below. However, here is my take on the subject matter. Society hasn't really changed, and that we still have, in my opinion, a very long road still to walk. Now, why do I say that? Well, firstly, watching international news, which I do every day, are watching some dear friends and of course others posted videos up on YouTube and of course chatting to friends and some followers on various different social media sites, I honestly encountered a deja vu moment and thought we were still living back in the dark ages in the 50s, 60s or even the 70s, which brought back many memories of my growing up years in South Africa, which at the time was a police apartheid state, controlled by the Afrikaans Dutch Reform Church. The narrow-mindedness, blinkered and non-acceptance of others with hatred and discrimination is still sadly very much alive and well, 
both here and elsewhere in the world. Now, this subject matter is a universal one and is not targeted at any singular country. I accept and acknowledge that a lot has changed since then. After that, that was what about 60 years ago that I came into this world and trust me when I say, in spite of a lot of social changes such as freedom of speech, women's rights, gay rights, same-sex ma marriage, etc., etc., and the so-called equality for all, including the fact that we here in Ireland have a gay prime minister who is legally married to someone of his own sex. And saying that, my God, we still have a long way to go before the shackles of slavery are finally removed and people can feel free and do what they want without any sly looks and either spoken or unspoken discrimination. Change is not going to happen overnight and it's going to take generations before we start to see real change happening. I know that would classify me as part of the older generation, <laughs> heaven forbid, but many my age are grandparents already. And I have to be honest and say that maybe once my so-called generation and older, and even some who are at least 20 years younger than me, are dead and gone, only then we might start to see some real positive change in society. But that, of course, depends largely upon the continued generational brainwashing of our kids. <laughs> I think I've hit a bit of a sensitive point. Well, let me hit another one for you. But before I go there, I wish to state that I was born into a good Catholic family and went to Mass every Sunday morning like a good little Christian boy. But in saying that, after my 60 odd years, I'm going to say that it's all bullshit. Yes, I know I've hit way below the waist this time, but I'm sorry. I can already see, yes, a few, a huge drop off possibly of my view time on this video, and maybe even some possibly unsubscribing me. But you know what? If you don't have that many to start off with, you surely aren't going to lose that too many. Anyway, so religion is, as I have been led to believe, is God's word and his teachings. Namely, one of many of the teachings is love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I'll be using that quote many times throughout this video, but I ask the question, is this for real? Is it? And if so, well, I'm still to experience it, especially from those that claim to be religious. And that applies now to all religions. If this is one of our so-called Ten Commandments, which it is, then in actual fact, it has created far more hatred amongst people and divided the human race far more than anything else. Now, I take a recent incident which hit the news only last week, where one person dead, 100 wounded, and clashes sparked by a dispute over woman's access into a temple, temple in India. Now, for the love of God, this is 2019, and we still have women that are considered unclean to be allowed into a house of prayer? Then tell me that I'm wrong when I said that religion is dividing us and is simply a breeding ground for hatred between mankind. Or, in this very case, even closer to home, between husband and wife, brother and sister on such issues. Or where if this is your so-called religious beliefs? How stupid are the human race? And when are they going to start to learn? Is it not time that we overthrow those feckin' religious elite living in luxury whilst very happily taking a few pennies from those that cannot afford it? Ah, oh, of course, how silly of me thinking that. That wouldn't be so easy now. As taking the Vatican as just one example, they have their own bloody army and a 40-foot high wall around it. 
yet they condemn others for building walls and not bridges? Well, we're not going to get on that subject, on wall building. I think I need a drink. Okay. Then let's talk about the regular churchgoer, who when the priest says, peace be with you, then like brainwashed, semi-hypnotized sheep, all turn to the person on either side of them, then behind them, shake their hands and say, peace be with you. Then after mass, they walk outside and totally ignore you. Never mind passing you in the street or shopping mall and look at you like something that the cat uh, dragged in. But yet they shook your fecking hand and said with a smile like Judas kissing Christ on the cheek before he was betrayed, peace be with you. I'm then accused of being angry, bitter, and just not a nice person when I say this. Please tell me if I've missed the point. These people are God-loving, good Christians, Muslims, Hindus, Tamils, Buddhists, etc. And they treat their so-called brothers and sisters like that? And then their Prime Minister Modi of India defends their actions by saying, every temple has got their own beliefs. So, it's all okay? That innocent women want to worship their God and are affected, you know, by this, attacked, and others killed for it? Then, of course, then we have gay guys being beheaded and are thrown off buildings because they are different and love someone of the same sex. And that's also okay? And we asked a family member or a friend that chooses to date or marry someone of a different race or colour. You know, we so quickly condemn, make someone else's life a living hell and are willing to end someone else's life because they are different to us. Where in God's name is the love your fucking neighbour and yourself? Come on! Are we not supposed to be a civilized society? My reply is quite simple. I'm not perfect, but I'm no hypocrite. I'm not two-faced, and I tell the truth, by calling a spade a bloody spade. And if somebody doesn't like it, then toughies. I have my faults in life. But of what I see, society in general haven't advanced nor changed significantly. These changes have been fought for by some, and governments have been forced to write it into law. But laws don't change people. A good example of this is, take a simple law, uh, say speeding, which is uh, punishable by a monetary fine and penalty points on your license. And has that stopped speeding? No, it hasn't. And even I'm guilty of it as I do it, and I'm sure most of you do it as well. It is part of who we are and part of our programming or our brainwashing that comes from our growing up years. View thereof, many things will never change except it. I'll give another example of this and I'll use myself as that way it then becomes factual and not hypothetical. As I told you, I was born in 1957, 61 years ago, and lived in South Africa for 38 years. And yes, I saw many things that taught me much about the human race, especially as it was a very diverse society of almost every nationality and religion that exists on this planet. Yet, it also, sadly, was a very divided one, especially between colour. Now, I still remember very clearly, like it was yesterday, that I was a pre-teenage boy playing outside and started chatting to the old man that lived next door to us. And somehow, we got onto the subject of God and religion. Now, this was all part, in my opinion, of my brainwashing as a child growing up. He went on to say 
this, and I'm talking about this elderly gentleman next door, went on to say that God is great, our Father, and that we are all his children, and we are made in his image, which, of course, the church still teaches us today. Now, as a child and in my innocence, I glanced over to the black garden boy who was cutting the lawn at the time. So I asked the question, why then is he black and has crazy hair? He's not like us. The old man looked at me and replied, well, that's because they are not God's children. They belong to the devil. You know, wherever I went as a child, the signs of this were all over. And not only that bullshit, but other signs were up, such as white only, non-white only, etc., etc. We were constantly being brainwashed wherever we turned into believing all this crap and why. It was the same laws forced upon us, whether we believe in it or not. And the same is still going on today. Laws are still being forced upon us. That goes against our very basic human rights. Now, as a teenager, nightclubs were raided by the police weekly. And I know I frequented these clubs at least three times a week. I was possibly a little party animal. Maybe I still am. Anyway, I experienced this almost every week, with cops coming in and throwing tear gas, leaving us teenagers and older ones running, scrambling, falling over tables, and of course getting badly cut by all the broken glass lying on the floor. This was no fun, I can assure you. I remember often standing on a chair, gasping for fresh air, coming into the club via the air conditioners. The excuse for these raids were to check on underage guys being exposed to the use of various illegal substances. This was our growing up years, which I think made me the rebel that I am today. Then, when we first started school, like good living and faithful Catholics, my brother and I, of course, we were put into St. Joseph's Convent in Durban, in South Africa. And sadly, all our teachers were, in my opinion, frustrated old nuns who would beat us all over our bodies with sticks or bamboo canes. They thought that we weren't listening or whatever. Now, <laughs> judge the subject slightly, add a touch of humour in it. That reminds me, you know the old joke, why do nuns always go around in twos? Because one nun sees that the other nun gets none. That's why I say Fucking frustrated. Anyway, my dad walked into the bathroom one evening whilst my brother was bathing and saw welts on his back and questioned what had happened. Reluctantly, my brother spoke, but he was afraid that he might just get another smack from my dad. But dad listened. My brother had been beaten all over his little body with a cane. Dad walked out of the bathroom and told my mom to immediately pull us out of the convent and put us into a government school. Anyway, anyway, the next Sunday we arrived at Mass, and as we were altar serving age, we assumed all was good to participate in the Mass, but very quickly we were told by a parish priest, sorry, you can't serve in the altar, and when questioned why not, well, simply, we were told we were no longer part of the convent and going to a non-Catholic government school was taboo and an unholy environment. For God's sake. I guess we were like those Indian women in India. We could do little to nothing about it but to accept it, that we were unclean and contaminated. Now, 50 years later, the same narrow-mindedness still goes on in the world. If not with one religion, then it's with another. Right. Why am I telling you all this? Because what I went through was no different to what the Germans or Jews, etc., went through under Adolf Hitler or Stalin, etc. 
who are not taught to think, very much like today, and to believe what we are told by the authorities, the church, the media, our parents, extended family, and friends. So, we do what we are taught, or sadly told. We didn't have computers or the internet, we were cut off from the world and had to believe all this crap. I guess, on even with computers, the internet, we still continue to believe all this crap. So, what has changed? I have one confession to make. I am a racist. And because of this, I admit that I know that it is wrong. And I do sincerely apologize for it. But you know, our brains are not like a filing cabinet where you can go pull out the file, folder or piece of paper and shred it. It remains there buried deep in our brain where you simply cannot erase it. It's called good brain washing by society. So to this very day, I have to be honest, I'm still fighting those demons, trying hard to reverse all that false falseness that I morally know is wrong. But the battle still goes on desperately, trying hard to reverse it and delete that crap out of my hard disk in my head. You know, in saying all, all of that, I talk to and I'm friendly to all black people of all nationalities, all colors and races. And, but unfortunately, dating them or more, I doubt it, as is part of my programming. So I simply put it down to my preference is Milky Bar, and I don't despise nor criticize others that like dark chocolate. So maybe you can help me or someone else out there can help me reprogram my brain. You know, in saying that, my message is to others. Please, don't allow this to happen to you. As all this brainwashing still goes on today, but today, the degree of it is so much greater. As I remember, TV wasn't available when I grew up. The radio was the old valve set that had to warm up, and had a magic eye, and <laughs> they were much bigger than some large TV sets today. We didn't have computers, never mind social media. So today, with all of this, we are now being bombarded with bullshit and furthermore from all the major news channels around the world who are feeding us crap like fake news to create smoke screens and confuse us even further. Today, there is far less truth being spoken. And why? I believe that the system or so-called society is trying their utmost to divide us as a human race more and more and spreading lies and hatred like I've never, ever seen in my life before. So, has society changed? Yes, it has, to a small degree, but definitely not for the better. Now, the next subject we will be tack tackling is the educational system. So, please click above to see my part two of the series. Thanks for watching. I do hope you've learned something new here today. And if so, please leave a comment below as your feedback is important in improving the overall quality of material being presented. If you know someone that could benefit from this video, then please share it with them as your help and support is really appreciated. Now, please don't forget to click the thumbs up, like button below, subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you in part two shortly. Bye.